Hello, my name is Thomas McGee, and in this video, I wanted to show you how to self-host your own video with a service other than something like YouTube or Vimeo so that you can then embed that on your website. So you might be wondering, well, why wouldn't I just want to use something like Vimeo or something like YouTube? Sometimes it happens that you want to be able, you have got a blog or you've got a website or something like that, and you want to be able to post a video in an article or in a blog post or even in an, a podcast episode or something like that. You just want to be able to embed in there a video. But you've got a YouTube channel or you've got a Vimeo you know, channel and you don't want to clutter that or upload files there or you just want a little bit more control. So there's a service that you can use called CloudApp. So I'll be talking a little bit more about CloudApp in future videos. But I wanted to show you today specifically how you could use it to host your videos. Now, one thing you might be wondering, if you're a WordPress user or if you use a different platform, if I want to self-host it, truly self-host it, because technically you're not self-hosting it, you're hosting it with CloudApp, why would I not just host it on my website? So I've seen people try this in the past. And what happens is that when you upload, let's say you're using WordPress and you decide to upload a video to your media library, what happens a lot of time is that as you start getting more videos uploaded to your WordPress media library, it starts to slow down the website. The reason is because it's meant for some images essentially and maybe some audio files, you know, PDFs, smaller things like that, but definitely not video because video, especially when it gets longer or start talking about 4K, a lot of times what's gonna happen is those are gonna be hundreds and hundreds of megabytes and web servers typically aren't set up or optimized for files that are that large. So what you could end up with is just a slow website. So you do wanna make sure that you host your video files somewhere else. Again, YouTube and Vimeo work for a lot of cases, but sometimes, like I said, you may just want a little bit more control. So here's a way that you can do it for free. Now there are some options available on Cloud App where you can pay and you can upload a little bit more. You could have bigger video files. I use Cloud App for a lot. I use it to host my podcast, a lot of different tutorial videos that I do that are not on YouTube. Uh, and that I, you know, online course videos. I use it for a lot more. I, for files that I send to clients that are really big and I need to send them a, a download link. So, like I said, we'll jump into Cloud App as a whole a little bit later, but let's dive in now how to start using Cloud App to host your videos for your website. So let's go ahead and take a look. What I have right now is a, just a really basic WordPress install that I'm using just for the sake of this demo. And then I'm gonna go ahead and set, uh, put a link below this video to sign up for a free account, but they have uh, a lot of different tiered options that you can look through here as well. They've got screen recording and gift capturing built into a lot. So it's just got a ton of different options built into this, this tool. But let's go ahead and dive into it. So the first thing we wanna do, first thing we need in order to be able to do this is we're gonna actually need a video. So I've just got a little video montage that I put together a little while back. And we'll see for most, in most cases, or depending on what video software you're using, what you'll find is that it's gonna export in an MOV file. But what we need to do before we decide to host this is we need to make sure that it's in a file format that's gonna be compatible with most web browsers. It's not, MOV isn't quite as compatible as say an MP4, so we're gonna convert that to an MP4. So to do that, I'm using a free piece of software called Handbrake. And I think this one's Mac only. I do know that there are other software services out there that you can use for Windows that will do the same thing for free. You just wanna find some sort of tool. And again, I will link this one below uh, this video along with a link to CloudApp as well. But you're just gonna wanna use some sort of tool to make sure that you convert this over to uh, a format that you can actually host online with the best possible chances that the browser is going to be compatible with that. Okay, so they got a bunch of presets over here. This video is actually in 4K, but just so this goes a little bit faster. Uh, so first of all, you want to go under web because that's it's going to put a codec in there. It's going to compress it. It's going to make sure that it works great for web. I'm just going to do this at 1080p and then I'm going to click start. So you'll be able to see it gives you the progress down there. Okay, so once that has finished uh, converting from the MOV, you'll be able to see on my desktop I have a MP4 version. So the next thing I'm going to do 
is using the cloud app app, the actual app that they give you, I'm actually going to just drag this up there and we're gonna see that that's gonna instantly start uploading. And we'll see as it's uploading, it's going to give us a little uploading page. And so we just need to wait for that to finish uploading. Okay, so while that's uploading, let's go ahead and dive in here now and make a quick sample WordPress post. So let's just call this my great video. Here is my article. And here is my video. Okay, so what we're doing here is I'm just creating a new blank WordPress post. So, you know, typically if you're, you know, you're creating your posts, you have your content here. Um, but what we're gonna do here is rather than using the visual tab, we're gonna jump on over to text. And text is just gonna allow us to paste in here HTML without it getting messed up. So let's go ahead and see if that has finished. It looks like it has, so it's uploaded. You'll see here that it's got a nice video player here. Uh, that just kind of starts playing once you click play. So it's all embedded right here. So all we have to do now is at the top right hand corner of the video that you uploaded, you just want to go and click this, this button at the top right hand corner, those three dots. And you want to go down to embed. And under embed, we want to click this, this uh, little link icon here. And you're going to see some options appear for us. So first thing we want to do is make sure that it's set to web page. Then, unless you want this, we wanna make sure that we hide the title as well as hiding the branding. So you're gonna hide the title, hide the branding, and then we're gonna have our code up here. So I'm just gonna click copy. And I now have my video code. So all I have to do uh, after I've done that is paste it into my, uh, into my WordPress post. There we go, so we'll jump back over now to, to the front end. So we'll give that a second to load. And the nice thing about this too is that it's responsive so that it's going to resize to fit the particular browser that you're viewing this for through. So if you're using this on a mobile device, as you can see, it's resizing the video, which is really helpful. Um, not all embeddable videos do that. So you see I click play. Um, it's got the ability to do full screen and everything else all built right within here. So. That's pretty much it. This is a nice, clean, simple video viewing user face. This works great as well if you wanted to be able to like, like I said, if you want content that you're not necessarily going to host on YouTube, not necessarily gonna host on Vimeo, you wanna keep it kind of private for an online course, or you just want more control or a different way of uploading and hosting your video. The nice thing as well is because of the way Cloud App is built, you're able to even just send people a, de a dedicated page to that particular video that we saw earlier. So if you've ever need to send this to a client or a customer or somebody to review before you post it live, you can do that as well. But I found this endlessly useful. It just gives you a lot more control so that you can embed videos wherever you want without having to worry about something like YouTube or Vimeo and you know cluttering up the libraries that you have there. You can keep these separate and then really easily embed them within the file or within the you know articles or the blog posts that you're creating. So just wanted to give you a really quick tip today. Again, I'm gonna be going into how you can use Cloud App for a whole bunch of other things, including up to and including hosting your podcast, uh, your images, you create a huge image library with it, and it's just become a really useful tool for me. So hopefully you found this useful. If you did, as always, make sure that you hit that like button, subscribe if you're not already, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.